Hello and welcome my friends back at MSI, back with T1 versus Flycast. Finally, a major region, right, that is uh, standing in front of us, ready to get clapped. And uh, yeah, we have some interesting picks, so let's get right into game number one. Okay, T1 fighting and let's see how we are fighting against Flyquest. Especially the top side had a quite good uh, showing in their first match, right? Uh, Put this time on the Zack. Inspired with Graves, a champion we have not seen in a while, paired up with uh, Jensen's Oriana. Um, okay, right, with the with the Whipple Zack, it's, it's alright. Um, personally, I, I would have thought that uh, maybe something like uh, Sundra would have come in here, but I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Uh, also, attack speed Masu, also someone we have to keep our eyes on, right? Uh, look decently good, but his opposition obviously in the first game was the best. Uh, here T1 obviously with a way weaker bot lane, um, especially in the earlier levels, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's uh, Guma, I think he only has one career loss on Senna, and I mean, yeah, we don't have to talk about Karius uh, Tom Kench, he is, uh, he's balling. Jensen versus Faker, obviously a very fun matchup from uh, many, many years ago. And in the top lane, or rather in top jungle, right? Uh, 41 with the Viego versus uh, Graves. Okay. Mm. We'll have to see. Graves got a, a few buffs, so that's going to be interesting. And uh, yeah, top lane, obviously, Burpo has like infinite sustain. Um, at some point, Zeus will be like more okay. Uh, with some more levels and some items, but uh, for now Whipple will have uh, some prior there. Obviously the Graves also clearing faster, he's looking for a dive here. Uh, that's going to be interesting, I mean Zeus is not too low. He's like half HP, right? Uh, let's see, okay, yeah he's just... Damn, doesn't get a good flash and uh, yeah. Zack will live with his passive, still loses his flash, but it's completely worth it, right? That's a uh, good usage for the passive in the early game, right? Uh, yeah, flood, first blood for Fly Quest, right? Good gold lead as well. Uh, both teams have decent scaling. I still would assume T1 is a bit better, right? We have to see. Okay, actually, let's see. Owner here. Uh, but yeah, okay, with the goals I uh, got, I think we're uh, like A okay in the bot lane there as well. Uh, but yeah, overall, T1 is just hyper-scaling. We'll have to see how Owner can uh, perform in the later stages, right? It's going to be a bit uh, tough for him if he's not getting, uh, let's say, ahead, right? Obviously, the champion uh, in general just needs a lot of resources. Okay. Let's see what uh, what uh, FlyQuest can do with their, uh, with their lead here. Whippo is greeting for this, actually. Wait a minute. We're not cutting away. We're seeing Owner here. Okay, yeah, it's going to go uh, for the camp and uh, yeah, now we're going to cut away. Okay, it's going to be interesting. Inspired here tries to bail out Whippo, but yeah, he has to flash away with Owner also there. They will get to the wave and uh, such Whippo will get some uh, CS, right? Uh, or rather, it's not only about the CS, it's more so about the experience, right? Okay, okay, do we get the dive? Whippo doesn't have the passive. Uh, yeah, perfect CC chain. I mean, it's like, bro, get, didn't get to do anything. Uh, aggro jungle, like, maybe a bit iffy. But, uh, yeah, Bupo also no TP. is going to lose so much more. Bupo, the hero of FlyQuest in the uh, first series. Uh, yeah, so far. Uh, yeah, the first blood looked cool. But afterwards, man, he has been an alert of, uh, like, the, like, yeah, we can make the pain train joke because we have, uh, uh, train trucker Orn. Yes, yes, that is indeed funny. He he XD and uh, yeah, inspired at least gets the Drake right. Grubbies have been taken care of by owner. Okay, Whippo bouncing around here and it all looks fun. But Zeus has the old right. Ooh, crazy flash! But uh, another flash as well. Guma's old comes down as well. There's still one minion, but I don't think it will matter. Zeus in the one v two gets the dive. Uh, outplay, play. And so far, 2-1 for Zeus in the top lane, man. He has been doing well. Let's see. Carrier also goes in. Flash to the side. Okay, okay. There's owner. Like, are you scared yet? Are you scared yet, NA? Maybe you need to be. Oh, teleport comes in. Faker and Carrier. Double TP here. Flash, flash. 
Jensen with the ult, but doesn't really hit all too much of anything. Will they give it to... No, they don't. And actually, Guma got an assist because he uh, queued Tom Kench before the TP. Crazy play by Faker and Carrier. I mean, it cost a lot, right? Double TP, double flash. Uh, but hey, I mean, Bro actually also has like so many tour plates already. It's like you blink and you miss a T1 taking care of this flag quest roster with their hyperscaling Orn, Azir, Senna, Diego comp. Uh, it's crazy. Okay, Faker again slithers fourth. Owner collects it. I mean, it's just he he sets up the alley oop and owner dunks it down. And inspired, you're in danger. Has to flash away, but okay, that's the what is it again? Whatever. It many kills follow for T1. Owner gets one. Owner gets two, and it's a double kill. For owner, ah, uh, yeah, what did I say about owner's uh, Viego needing to get uh, ahead at least to some extent so that he can play the game? He can play the game pretty well, and it's 7 1 the German Brazil scoreline. And uh, yeah, Brazil is not playing anymore, but uh, geez, I T1 not only 7 1 score lead, equalized the Drakes 6 to 0 in the Grubbers. Uh, we also have like what was it, a 7,000 gold lead already. Let's wait for the turret plate stuff to go away. Yeah, 7,000 gold lead. Uh, yeah, at 15 minutes, double thumbs up here at this point. Faker, by the way, got the like first blood turret individually, just in mid lane, just by being chilling. Uh, bot lane turret also taken care of. Uh, top lane turret will follow. Uh, oh, already followed. I mean, T1 just uh, straight after the laning phase collects one, two, three turrets. And uh, yeah, gold lead already extended. Just great stuff from our Korean world champions here, right there. Okay, Herald and everything. Okay, we're flashing forward as well. Okay, Whipple, Desperation, Engage here, right? Where's the combination with the Oriana ult? Where is it? I can't see it. Carrier is now engaging Tom Kench. That's your AD carry, nearly dead the tanks. I mean, that's not really who you want to hit with the Oriana Shockwave. Carrier goes in again. Man, that guy is just crazy. Whipple is like, Dying now as well, nearly an ace, right? Only inspired left standing, but for how long? Not for long. I mean, T1 with like, what is this? Nearly a perfect game? Like this one dive, right? That they got at the very start of the game is everything they have. They didn't get a further kill. They didn't get a single turret. Uh, they got the Drake. So one kill very early on and one Drake. I mean, T1, what the fuck is this performance here? I mean, if I'd be another team, maybe I'd be shaking in my boots. But uh, yeah, instead of shaking, let's do the clapping and let's go into game number two, my friends. Okay, my friends, coming into game number two, let's crack open a cold one and let's take a look at what we've drafted. It looks pretty interesting here. Take a step. <sighs> Stay hydrated, my friends. Faker with Talia. Obviously pretty interesting against some uh, of the Dash Reliant champions on the FlyQuest roster. And as much as... Oh, wait a second. Carrier already ganking. Uh, yeah, okay. So that's that's uh, one flash already gained. Zeus here in a two versus three. Carrier and owner join Zeus. Will still give over first blood, very likely. And with that, also Inspired gets a level up. Oh my, oh my. That's a pretty crazy level one. Uh, but T1 should win it all in the end, right? I don't think Boostio will get away, so... Uh, Carrier should flush a uh, yeah. Uh, and that will be a 2 for 3. FlyQuest doubled their kills from the last game. Great success for them. Uh, but yeah, in the end, uh, who really got most of the kills here? Uh, yeah. Uh, the top jungle for FlyQuest and on the T1 side, like nearly everyone. Um, we have to look at the XP, which looks favorable for uh, flight quests in some parts. That's completely in their favor, right? The biggest deficit is mid lane, but uh, it's range versus range, so that should not matter as much, right? This now will be Jensen's opportunity to, uh, like with the Azir himself, do the same thing Faker did to him in the last game. Um, but uh, yeah, Azir versus Oriana is not the same as Azir versus, uh, what is her name, Talia. We also have like some form of lane swap here, right? AD carry and uh, top laners swap for FlyQuest. Uh, like, I don't know, man. It's just 
You have so such little confidence in yourself that you have to do some crazy stuff like that. I don't know, man. Nah, I don't. I don't think we can pull this dive off, right? What? Okay, never mind. They pop just like that. I, I was like, okay, bro, it's a Nautilus and a Gragas. They have so much CC. Okay, so in the end, it's a two for one. Uh, yeah, I, 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 let's say that's a, that's a positive one, right? They also put the wave into the turret. Uh, there's no TP, so that's that. Uh, Guma will not be able to get the turret plate. And here, let's see the replay here. Uh, yeah, he Busio, he even got the, uh, what is it called, the Aftershock. But uh, yeah, he got it pretty late, so uh, that's a bit of a difference. Carrier also, like, kind of, like, mm, in the end it worked out, right? He, I think always one will die for T1. Um, so in that case, uh, Carrier be like making sure that he is the one who dies uh, by like taking turret Argyro very early. Uh, it's probably not too bad. Very nice last thing here on the turret, by the way, from uh, our support Ash. Very nice. A lane swap with two people in mid lane. I've not seen that one in a long, long time. That reminds me, is, wasn't that Faker's uh, first LeBlanc game? I think it was. He was. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I think he was against KT Bullets. It was against one of the KT lineups, I think. He was playing against Easy Hoon and uh, Deft and so on. And uh, yeah, they were playing um, Caitlyn Zyra in mid lane versus Fakers LeBlanc for like an early game uh, lane swap. But uh, regardless, enough of the memory lane. Uh, that that stuff is now over like 10 years, 11 years ago. We have all gone old, uh, especially me. Now let's see, next uh, next dive here by T1, there is a Wukong coming up, but yeah, it's going to be a one for one, Faker should be able to get away. Uh, yeah, so one for one plus play plus L plus ratio, they also pick up a, like, a favorable summoner spell um, exchange. Uh, Jensen here kind of wasting his time, right? What is he doing? Placing down some wards, good stuff, but... I think he could have gotten at least one turret plate there uh, in the exchange. Okay, my friends, with TP in the bot lane, turret is being hold, TP into the top lane, but it's just it's just not enough. Also interrupted, by the way. Not sure if that's actually good. Uh, it looks like quite good. Owner gets one unlucky turret shot. Faker goes into the thick of things. Remember, Kalista has three kills, if I'm not mistaken. And that will be the fourth one, fifth one, double kill for Guma Yushi, while also nom nom nom, eating more turret plates. Guma is completely, uh, like, shit smurfing this game. I mean, I don't know, FlyQuest, do you really, really need it? And whoa, oh my god, what a timing by Carrier and Faker, oh mwah. Beautiful, this is what peak performance looks like. Um, it's beautiful. By the way, while I'm seeing uh, Carrier play with Beryl's Ash skin, it's a pretty good one. Um, when do we get our T1 skins, right? How much longer do we have to wait? Usually we get them like an, around April, right? End of April. Um, yeah, they, they are looking to get at least one flash. Oh, no. That's just, uh, yeah. Carrier and Guma are even more five than me. And I'm just spectating. <laughs> Okay, they're trying to gank Faker here. He gets a scoop and yeah, looks good so far. They flash onto him, pretty cringe. Uh, but yeah, flash for flash, ults used and everything. Sadly, Carrier's error. Uh, did he? I thought he used it, right? Didn't it miss? It's already nearly back up of cooldown. Regardless, C1, they also pick up Boozio on the side. So uh, yeah, Faker is avenged to some extent. Okay, this time, oh, nice, uh, yeah, false flash there by Jensen, uh, and yeah, T1 and full control, right? The thing is, obviously, their champions are also, like, very oppressive from ahead. Not only due to the pick potential of owner, carrier, right, their ults, right, they literally pick tools. Uh, yeah, they also control the enemy jungle pretty effectively with Faker and uh, carrier, right, they AoE control and CC. And then we have Guma and Carrier who have additional vision tools here. That's a stun. Uh, but uh, yeah, we got the flash, right? And the turret. We take that, we take that. They have Gragas cask, which is a bit cringe, but uh, we can, we, we still can play. Okay, there's an error. 
And the ult also connects, Inspire, she just... Burst CC, man, that, that guy couldn't do anything, man. And uh, yeah, T1 just uh, sieging up turrets, inner turrets here without Baron. At 18 minutes, Faker puts down the wall, Whippo, yeah, forced to flash out, and that's another 700 gold into the pockets of T1. I mean, just look at their inventories, man, they're loaded. And okay, Bustio gets chunked, right? That's just a poke error in the face. Faker here gets ulted and it's probably going to go down. Ripperino go. But uh, yeah, let's see what FlyQuest can do with the numbers advantage. They have used a couple of tools though, and we still have a Xante and a 7080 uh, Gumayushi. Uh, but yeah, bro can't get into the fight, can't hit. But they ulted Zeus away! He's going to sprint down all the way back. Oh, never mind. No, we're fighting. And that's Bwipo also now on the chopping, the chopping block. Zeus with the shortest TP ever. But it will be enough, right? Jensen puts down the turret. Actually, they get one, but uh, is it going to be worth? Well, I don't know about that one, right? FlyQuest, they really try something, but their hands are caught in the cookie jar. And that's the one. Oh, we don't have the other ult. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's just pick up a turret, maybe recall. People have been calling me and my like predictions and my tier list and it's like, mm, T1 biased. Yeah, of course, of course, it's a T we are on a T1 fan channel. But they're the literal world champions. Like, ha, T like the world champions goes into an event. Mm, yeah, maybe they're like D rank. What the fuck? Okay, it looks like we've gotten another pick here onto Bustio. He's going to flash away and blast plan away. What does that mean? It's going to mean it's Baron time. There's a crazy monkey there. Inspired is there on the side. But uh, yeah, I think T1 is ready. Even The thing is, even if we don't get the Baron, right? Our goal is uh, to just be cool, right? Boomer's ult first out early. That's the Monkey King already dead. And uh, yeah, with that miracle die, right? Let's not forget we have a smite and we have Kalista E, which obviously has been nerfed and so on, but uh, yeah, still not uh, to a relevant extent. Faker, what the hell is my goat doing over there? I mean, he has the Zonias, he has the Flash, so he gets away, flips Busio, uh, and boom. Oh, ho, ho, man, Masu nearly got carrier there at the uh, far end of it. But uh, yeah, calculated, right? He didn't even need to use Flash or Barrier. Very nice flash there by, uh, by uh, what is his name again? The Guma God. Uh, Whippo here looking for something. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Carrier still has the, what is it again? The, the barrier. And uh, yeah, the next turret nearly dying here. Azeus just giga chat TPing away, man. The disrespect. Overall, obviously, very nice that our bot lane is uh, on fire, right? Especially Carrier, right? Carrier and Zeus were the ones uh, that looked the most off in the last showing, right, in the uh, LCK Grand Finals, right, Carrier looked uh, very uncreative, right, uh, not sure if there's a better word for it, but uh, yeah, he was not really feeling it, and uh, I mean, Zeus had uh, like some troubles, right, obviously he was playing Keen, right, who was like doing well, but uh, yeah, it doesn't change the fact that Zeus was not in prime position. Faker here gets attacked again, he doesn't have Zonias this time, but uh, yeah, it's still a one for one. I mean, effectively worth a fly quest, but again, how many tools have you used for this? The answer is everything, right? Uh, what does the what does the meme say, right? So much for a drop of blood or something like that. Um, yeah, and now they're just falling like uh, what is falling? I don't know, raindrops. Uh, yeah, also with the drops of the uh, inferno, so uh, quite fitting, quite fitting, I'd say. Uh, T1 here, obviously, in the second game, a bit more uh, like wild. Uh, right, it's 10 to 12, 20. We're probably also not going to be able to finish. Oh, nearly sniped. Uh, yeah, nice one there by Busio. Kere here putting down the turret. No, not the turret, the stun. And nice dance by Jensen. Will he get Faker in the 1v1 this time? Uh, no, no, just Jensen can never win 1v1s against Faker. Obviously, the last recent one that was quite famous was the. Uh, uh, was it Akali versus uh, Silas? Not sure if I remember that one correctly, but hey, great 2-0 performance there by T1. Obviously, the end was a bit shaky, uh, but uh, yeah, they know they were in an absolutely dominant, uh, dominating position, right? As such, they could clone a bit. 
Uh, but anyway, very nice. T1 with two two zeros advance into the main stage. I mean, what the fuck were Riot Games thinking? Putting the literal world champion, the GOAT, the uh, un uh, killable Demon King and his four Demon Lords into the play-in stage. Uh, T1 so far has been uh, Hydrogen Bomb versus Coughing Baby. Uh, yeah, it's just a bit sad for the other teams, right? That's not really what play-in stage is uh, meant to be. But uh, hey, Riot Games knows best. Uh, please sponsor, but uh, regardless, hope you enjoyed. We see each other in the next one with more T1 and MSI content. Bye bye, my friends.